What is up, players? It is Warboss Tay up in this mug. Welcome to a video showcase of some miniatures I've been working on for a commission. These are USCR miniatures for the Mercs game, Mercs miniatures, and uh, there are four of them. They're all in metal, and they are the Commissar, Assault, Sniper, and Behemoth. And <laughs> I, uh, I. I'm not really sure looking at them now which is which, but I know that this fellow here is the behemoth, the really huge guy. And uh, it, it was a good experiment for me because I tried to follow the... Uh, if you look up Merc's miniatures, if you're not familiar with the game, the uh, finished pictures on their website looks a little bit different from the concept art. And I think the concept art looks really, really great with the... They've got like dark green fatigues and um, some of the markings and stuff. So I decided to go with that rather than the uh, finished models that are in their showcase, in their gallery. And uh, if you want to achieve this white, all you need is Vallejo's Deck Tan. I tried using Rackrite Flesh from Games Workshop. It just didn't look very good. It looked a little bit too yellow, yellowy bone, and uh, none of their whites really gave me a finish that I that I thought would work. So deck tan from Vallejo shaded with known oil and uh, curiously enough you have to really water it down. This known oil it goes on pretty thick and it will if, if you let it pool, uh, most of you already know this, especially those of you who've seen my tutorials, if you let the washes pool in the recesses they create these really ugly dried up uh, oily patches that just do not look good. So uh, you, you, it's almost like a glaze, I would say, rather than, than a shade. And then you highlight it back up with deck tan, and then as a highlight, I used game, not Games Workshop, but Vallejo's Ivory, which is a little bit brighter of a white color. So I'm, I'm really pleased with it. The uh, blacks are just, what's good about it too is that like the weapons are this kind of dark black like it looks like a synthetic plastic metal, so it's it, there's not a lot of silver. In fact, I painted the barrels on the Behemoth's uh, twin shoulder guns silver just to give it a little bit of a pop, but I'm not even sure if that's supposed to be in, in silver or black or not. And uh, just highlight with Mechanica Standard Gray and then Dawnstone. Then you get a really cool like black casing on the guns and everything was very futuristic. The visors I painted in with I think it was a uh, Sotec green and then highlighted with a little bit of Temple Guard blue. And then when you do that, you're going to get a little bit of bleed into the bottom of the visor, uh, or at least you will if you're human. If you can really get it in there with a steady hand and a very fine tip brush, then uh, I, I bow down to you. But I, I was uh, making mistakes on all four of them, so I just had to go back in with the ivory, clean up under the visor a little bit, and... Yeah, there's not much else you can say for these guys. I think they are great. I've got some uh, FCC guys, and uh, there's I know there's 10 miniatures in this commission in total. So this is one faction. It was the biggest faction. It had four guys in it. And uh, I'm looking forward to painting up some other things to show you for it. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. These guys are done. They are ready to go out to the client. Wanted to show you this little update, and I hope your day is going well. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.